So Dan, for the last two, three, four years, all of civil society, all the environment movement has been building up to Copenhagen, the big moment when we were all going to come together and create the political space for our leaders to swoop in here and make the deal that we all need. Did this happen? <laughs> From the civil society point of view, I mean? From the civil society point of view, yeah. The leaders absolutely wasted this unprecedented um, momentum and number of people. You had 60, roughly 60,000 people pushing for um, the best possible deal. You mean on the activist front of view? On the activist view. front point yeah. of view, both outside and inside the negotiation centre. If you work out that each of those 60,000 people were here for 14 days, that gives you something like 2,300 years of people time just wow. in Copenhagen alone wow. pushing for the right deal. So that the is a lot of banners. It's a lot of banners. <laughs> and basically, the political leaders completely wasted that um, momentum that they were given. And, um, yeah. <laughs> so, you've been following all the actions that have been happening over yeah. the last two weeks. What have been the highlights for you? The highlights, I would say, have been going across to the Klima Forum and um, just the sheer difference in, in feeling <laughs> in that place. I mean, people were positive, they were working on solutions, and it was more of a collaborative effort. And the whole thing was only run by four people, apparently. Like, this place was a shambles. Like, we were here till six yeah. o'clock this morning. I mean, if you were running an international conference for 35,000 people, what time would you close all the coffee bars? <laughs> but now. 10 p.m., <laughs> good time, good time. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, they kept one open, but you get my point. <laughs> but yeah, no, the Clean Reform was absolutely incredible, and you had some really brilliant things coming out of that. And I'd actually say one of the best legacies of this conference is definitely not the piece of paper that was signed in this room. It was actually all the contacts and the connections yeah. and the new activist networks that come out of that. And actually, that's the same goes for the 100,000 Strong March on Saturday. All those people that came together, the movement building and the sense of momentum that comes from bringing people across um, from around the world together, that's the really crucial thing, because that's what's going to create the critical mass to make it happen. So do you think we've reached a critical mass? Because if we haven't reached it in this era, you know, the Copenhagen time, we're never going to have that media attention again. Or, you know, this was the moment that we had to reach critical mass. Did we do it? <laughs> I think that we are... I think what you're starting to see is a much smarter application of yeah. like activist pressure. For the first time here, you saw the small island nations working with the campaigners, working you know, um, with the African states, and you're really getting this sense of um, momentum and sort of a just momentum almost um, with the delegates behind the right countries going. So that's really exciting to see. And now it's just a case of watching Rockstar Nasheed and his <laughs> fellow um, and the fellow campaigners to see what they do next. But basically what I think is actually that it's now for society um, to force the hands of Western governments and also all governments that yeah. haven't been going far enough on this and to really force them into doing it. It's no longer a case of hoping or saying please or, you tick, know... Tick, tick, tick. Time or, is running out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Much as we love tick, tick, tick. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a case of forcing through the change now yeah. because to be honest no longer do we ask our politicians please these are the very last few hours days weeks yeah. months and just a couple of years where we've got the situation to actually do anything about climate change and the fact of the matter is just to finish on this point um the fact of the matter is that we've gone with roughly the same tactics for the last two decades and we've had all the right information about the science about the technology to fix it so what do we do in these last few years now that looks different to that and which really pushes us over? And I would argue that it's linking up on the right side of history with um, the small island delegates, with the African states, with those that are first and worst affected with climate change, um, and actually creating um, a social justice movement that moves forward. I just wanted to say that everybody we've been speaking to today as they've been coming out has been saying that it wasn't the developed nations actually that were stopping the deal last night. It was the developing more than developed. So. The only thing we don't know, it's all rumour and counter rumour. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. And we weren't in those high yeah. level negotiating rooms Funnily at enough. the end. <laughs> Funnily enough. But, I mean, the thing to say there is that there isn't a single Western nation, um, apart from, I think, um, Scotland and perhaps Norway, that have anything like the level of targets that we really need in order to really keep us below. You know, the sort of, the sort of figures we need to keep us at 350 parts per million. And I suppose the other thing that I'd just say is um, that. Our entire political and economic system works on really long time scales. And so the fact that this conference is looking at 2050 as the time that we should implement any sort of deal, well, that would be like um, 
legislation from 1959 taking effect today, it's just not going to happen yeah. because politicians work on three, four year timescales, but more and uh, more often than not, they actually work on minute by minute and second by second edicts from the stock yeah. market. <laughs> so we need near term targets that are really in line with the science. And like 10 10. Nice <laughs> <10. laughs> link, Dan. Over and out from you, Dan. Thank you very Go and much. get some sleep. You're looking very tired. <laughs> <laughs> Will do. Well done for some great reports all last two weeks. See you back in London. In London.